The first video I ever uploaded to YouTube was a clip of this lure that I built back in 2008. Since then, it has mostly been sitting on the shelf for about 15 years, so we thought it was time to take it out for another swim. In today's episode, we're gonna try out factory-made lures versus these old wooden handmade lures and see what will work best for pike fishing. This is up next. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it. Oh! oh! <laughs> that was so freaking cool. In the jungle. All right. Whoa. I'm out on the water. Boom. Ah, boom. Let's do this. Yeah, man. Today we are going to do a spicy little challenge again. Yeah, we're traveling back to memory lane, far, far back to the time where both of us started our pike fishing journeys. Det är ingen jättefisk, men det är kul. Första på dagen. Så här ser vädret ut alltså. Oh, det är så där det ska vara. Ja! Jag gick på på sex där nu. Vet och fin. Jag gillar den här. Jag tror att jag tappade fyra på just det här vete. Så satt den? Det här måste vara fyra den här. Ja, det är vägar att kolla nu. These are some absolute rarities, handmade jerkbaits made by yours truly and Pontus Schöller. Yeah, pike fishing is fun, making your own lures is fun, and combining them both to, you know, fish pike with your handmade lures is like crazy. Yeah. I remember I, I didn't catch a lot of big pike back in the days. Nope. But now we're catching. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes we, <laughs> yeah, we succeed a little you bit. You can click this video up here to see how it went last time we went out. So yeah, it's actually true. Yeah. Yeah, some big yeah. fish. So was this the problem? <laughs> our, <laughs> our lures? Or is it just that we have built on our skills now a little bit and we have added like fancy boats and stuff? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. know. We'll, we'll see about that. Yeah, today. so who's gonna start with who? Winner gets to decide. Winner gets to decide. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Boom. I'm gonna start I'm gonna start with handmade lures. Ah, and you know what I'm gonna start with? I'm gonna start with spinners. Ah, this one I made. Yeah, these are uh, Pontus handmade spinners. One hour on the clock and let's uh, get going. Yeah. This video is once again sponsored by Visit Åland. You've seen us here many times before and that's for a good reason. The fishing is just phenomenal here. No matter if you're looking for pike, perch or sea trout, this is a great place for your next fishing adventure. Okay, Pontus, back on the water again. The water. Man, this is so nice. We are fishing a really nice spot today. It's uh, right in the middle of the summer. There's herring all the way outside of this bay over here. Yeah. So there could actually be some big fish action going on today. Don't want to jinx it too much, but hopefully we'll get some fish to see who wins the challenge at least. So factory lures it is for Pontus. This one should work. Our own custom color of the guppy, big size. Yeah, this must work. I'm gonna catch one on the first cast. Are you ready? Oh, look at this. I'm gonna catch one. I'm gonna catch one. I'm gonna take one on figure eight. Yeah. Oh, fish, oh, off, fish, off, off, fish off! Fish off! Fish off! Fish off! Fish off! Fish off! Oh, oh no! Good take. Oh, super take on the spinner. Let's do it with the nabba. Oh, I got it! 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 Nicely done, man. Ah, uh, this is uh, could probably be the same pike, but this is a very small fish. Okay. On the spinner in the weed. Nice. Time for you to come up now, baby. They're absolutely crazy in the summer. I just love this type of fishing. Yeah. Whoa. There are some bigger fish around here. This girl had a tough spawning, but she made it through alive. Now she got fooled by Pontus' old handmade spinner. Look at that. I think that's the first fish I ever caught on that lure. <laughs> Is it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, nice. Well done, man. Thank you. Let's put her back. Super! Boom! Boom! No, it's on. It's on here, Pontus. It is. I haven't had a single bite now on my jerk bait. No, I'm gonna shake I, I've, I've had two so far on the spin. Uh, I know what I'm gonna do. I know what I'm gonna do. Look at this. Thank you, Guppy. There's probably nothing wrong with you. But since Miller had two bites and I had none, I'm gonna change to the weedless rigged flat nose shad. Do my own photo fish uh, design. Look at this white back, black belly, like an upside down roach or something. Should work magic in here. Sometimes it can really be the key to be able to reach all the way into the weed, that extra one meter. Especially like post spawn, like early summer fishing. 
Oof, now we have a super cast. Yeah. Should bite in there. There we have. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Smally, but it's one one factory versus handmade. Oh. And that one is going crazy. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, I think. I mean, even though small pike, you won the heck of a fight. There we go. One one. Flat nose uh, shad for the fish seals the deal. Half a point for handmade because uh, as close as handmade as you get <laughs> uh, without making them yourself. Nice pike. Let's put her back. Goodbye. Nice dude. Look at this. Fishing in the jungle. I think this should be good. Look at this. It's like a small pond. Okay, look at this. Oh! 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 <laughs> we had one in here. That was so cool. <laughs> that was so freaking cool. In the jungle. How freaking sweet was that take, dude? <laughs> I just saw the take. You're, you're standing right in here. I wonder if there's uh, no what a lighting strike. Oh, that. big one. They're, they are here for sure. <laughs> there we go. Look what a beauty. Okay, that's it. Thank you. And goodbye. Off she goes, and it's 2 1 to handmade lures. I need to step up the possum game. Yeah, you need so, to. So uh, I'm. Uh... I... Oh, a dog. What you have? I don't know what. I. So I'm gonna fish the, the midwater here in the small cove with a treble hook and this hooligan junior. There oh, we there go! go. <laughs> it took me two seconds, that's the one I missed. <laughs> <laughs> and it's 2-2! Two, two. Was it worth getting uh, hooked in the boat for it? Yeah. It's a hell lot of fun. This is what this hooligan roach junior was designed for. That's some fun fishing in shallow water. Catching pike like these. Huh. They're not big, but they're very fun. And striking hard. Now we have four fish after, what is it? 20 minutes? Yeah. First cast for this one. This is the type of lure, like, if I bring my kids fishing for pike, this is the, the lure I will give, give them. Yeah. I think as we move out this, uh, you know, long shallow bay, they should be, like, spawning in here and then moving out of it. You know, as the yeah. water gets warmer, like, ah! That's the first hour done. First hour, that was like middle of, <laughs> middle of the cast. No more homemade spinners for me. I'm gonna go over to maybe my favorite handmade lure. This is uh, the first one I caught fish on back in like 2008 or something. And uh, since then, I haven't fished that much with it. Late <laughs> grow year. But, um, yeah, but I have caught some decent fish on it. It has a very nice side-to-side -side movement. Uh, classic glider-style jerkbait. Made uh, with a knife and some sandpaper. And yeah. Back in my lure builder career, I called myself Lake Groove. Uh, that's my last name, Sjölund. Sjö means lake, Lund means groove. That makes Lake Groove. <laughs> Greatly inspired by Mr. Anders Ulveforsen, aka Wolf Creek. That's, he, he did the same thing <laughs> with his name. Just look at this. That's sharp side to side movement. Oh, you knew how to build baits. Of course I did. So let us uh, know down in the comments if you have any lure building history. Are you making your own lures now? Did you do it in the past? Wood, spinners, plastic, or just photo fish. That's just, that's fine too. You can be in the lure builders club. You can have to reel this one too. Like a buster swim. You can? Yeah. Lake Grove swim. Ooh, did you see that? That's a big pike. Seem to be standing really close to the weed. There we go! <laughs> she came jumping! My first one in many years on this. That was one hard take on the Lake Grove Jörg. <laughs> Ah, oh, Jesus. Haven't you been using this? I think I caught, caught fish on my handmade lures like five years ago, maybe last time. But this is so much fun. They do work. I, I made this. Like Pontus Sjölund made this one and it's working. I accomplished something in life. Woohoo. Well, I'm gonna let you go on and accomplish more stuff in your life too, Pike. 
Nice. nice. Boom. You know what? I'm gonna see how many different hand lures we can catch fish on today. I'm gonna change to this beauty. This is probably the one I'm the most proud of. I made this one 2009 and I actually missed a very big pike on this one. Here we can see the development of my lure building career. I added a white dot on the head, inspired by the American jerk bait, the Hellhound. And the idea is that you will be able to see it much easier from above with these uh, light dots. Nu är det fint gräs här. Kolla vet du. This narrow part here should be fire. Now boom. Boom! Boom! Big one. Big, big one, one on the jerk bait. Oh, that was a hard take. It's not a very big fish. But it's... Uh... What do you mean not a nice fish? Are you freaking kidding me? There we go. Yes! So I are! The board is wet. Here's the lure. Just love this one. Totally suspending. Bam, bam, tap, 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 bam. And this one makes it 4 2 to handmade lures. You know. Skinny, post spawn, but what a beautiful, beautiful fish. Yeah, and I just love colors like this used to be my favorites back in the day and they still are like brownish quite dull dark colors bam just like this pike we are looking at exactly 90 centimeters yes we are awesome man catching a 90 centimeter pike on your own lure that you made as a kid that's not that does not suck at all. Brings back so many memories. I made them home, you know, at my parents' place, but we didn't have a good spot for the coating, so I did that at my grandparents' place <laughs> in their basement. So I was like, every day after school, I went to, to them, put on a new layer of coating, and then day after, another layer of coating. You were standing pretty close to the weed, say. Close to the weed, yeah. We are uh, now on our way out of this uh, long, uh, shallow bay. Like we said, we started all the way in there. That's probably where we were spawning a few months ago. And now they're moving out of this bay. And this nice pike was standing right in the outskirts of it. We're right in the small passage out to the more open archipelago. Okay, let's keep on moving out. Yeah. There will be more spots with fish. There will. But nice. Whoa! How cool. This is 5-2 to Lake of Lurs. The second hour was soon up and we moved out of the bay to the more open areas of the Åland archipelago. We had found a great looking spot on Google Maps and decided to give it a go. There are so much water to fish at the Åland Islands and even though we've fished a lot here, we're still just scratching the surface of this amazing place. Alltså här ska det. Det kommer så fiska. Okay, let's go. Back on the spinner again. Going over to this holding roach with a 25 gram flex head. The stinger on the back, so we can fish closer to the bottom without getting stuck. There we go. There we go. <laughs> right in there. Didn't take too long with the hooligan. <laughs> Five, three. She was standing just on the edge. Look how she hammered that bait, dude. Yeah. This is the thing with with uh, summer fishing. Fish on! Oh, fish on! On, on the spinner, baby. <laughs> This is so much fun, man. Oh. Some jumping action. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is a little bit bigger. Is it? I think so, yeah, slightly. Yeah. There we go, on the spinner and on the Hooligan Junior. So now it's 6-3. Uh, yeah, look at this. Bye bye. That was a nice take on Pontus. Merbu spinner, a real musky one. Au revoir. Seven three. Now oh. there we go. Is it eight three or seven three? With that one, it's seven three. Yeah, seven three exactly. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, perfect. <laughs> That's how we want to do it. I don't like that. There we go. Six five. Six, five. Can we do a Pontus versus me in the challenge instead? <laughs> Take it easy now, cowboy. <laughs> Six, five. Heavy jig head, 25 grams. Not because we're fishing on deep water, but because we're fishing fast. And we want to be able to present the lures fast on like 
one and a half, two meters maybe. Now I need to bring my A game here. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Six, six. Yeah. No, no. We need to hurry up before we grab the leader touch on that one. Crazy amount of fish here on Holland Islands. Yeah. So much fun summer fishing. You have it? Oh, you have it. Shit. Six, six, man. Six, six. We need to keep this a competition because as it is right now, Pontus is taking all the fish. Do you have a hookup for me, sir? Hook out? You better find that one yourself. Okay. It was like the first or second cast with that motorbike. Poisson. Poisson. Poisson! There we go! Drone in the air. 762 Factor Made Lures. What a turn in the competition. Woohoo! Yeah, this is so much fun. Did. Summer pike fishing at its best. Brought to you by Åland Islands. Oh! Changing time. Oh man, you are crushing me today. Good, <laughs> good we have the one hour change. Look at this one. I don't care about Big that. Big old wooden plug. Can you hear me? I don't care about that one. Look at this. This one is the, the lure that I'm the most happy about uh, swimming action wise. And there's a story to this one, why it doesn't have any paint. And what is that story? I did this one in school, in the slade, in the, what what's that called? Woodcraft... Uh, we have woodcraft lessons. In yeah, school. in school, yeah. Went home, yeah. tried out the action uh, without even coding it or anything. First time I used it, I hooked to this date, the biggest pike I've ever hooked in my life. I lost that fish unfortunately but it you know it went for it like twice before it smashed it before I put any paint on it. So I just coated it like this but uh, yeah, I think it's time for this one to shine again. I'm gonna try. I mean look at this action in the water. It's sick. Perfectly suspending. I have small taps with a rod. It glides like crazy up and down side to side. You give it some really wide glides if you push it hard. Ooh! <laughs> Okay, that's how good it is. And we have 7-7! Seven, seven. <gasps> what the actual heck, Mila? Ugh. I was just gonna show it. This one was in the water for... It wasn't eight long. seconds. <laughs> Sometimes you don't need that much uh, fuss, you know. Ugh. It's a crazy day, Mila. Back she goes. <laughs> I'm on fire today, man. You're on fire today. <laughs> Oh, had one. <gasps> come on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, come again, come again, come again. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it. Take it. Kom igen då. Kom igen, kom igen. They are flying out of the water today. For one of us. <laughs> yeah. We've caught seven, uh, 14 pike now. How many have you caught? Do you want me to to put in the description all videos where I have outfished you? <laughs> you can do that. Because just... there's quite a lot of them. Yeah, I was just thinking. <laughs> no, you weren't thinking. You were making a statement. No. And I felt that fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I honestly think you have 11 and I have 3. There we go. 8-7. <laughs> That's why you're not catching the melee, you're just changing lures and stuff. Okay, now it's time to quit bitching. Like, have, have you guys also experienced this, where the better fisherman gets beat by the worst fisherman? It's like, how is this even possible? You can just throw in whatever you want and you get them to buy it. Yeah, no, 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 <laughs> Never mess with the fog. 
Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do my ugliest learn, like, uh, yeah. Keep rubbing it in. Early model, like 2008 maybe. I think it's floating. Yeah, highly floating. But what, You're gonna catch something. What you can also do is like, speed retrieve it, I think. Yeah, with a rod tip underwater, it goes like crazy. Ooh, la bamba. So for this uh, crazy Åland summer pike, it should work. Ooh. Will work. Ooh, yeah. Just pretty done. Good with it. Okay. Yeah, you know, I am having one of these uh, confidence. First cast! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you were saying something. <laughs> I interrupted you. <laughs> Keep talking. Oh, my confidence is low. Oh, this one uh, moves a little bit too deep. I don't think it's the lure, Miller. <laughs> I don't think it's the lure either. <laughs> Do you want to hold it? No. <laughs> I have also caught it today. Dude, this is heartbreaking. It's a, it's a joke. Now I'm gonna do the ultimate confidence bait. I haven't even caught a pike on this one yet, but I think we're about to do that soon. I really freaking hope so at least. We've all been there. The very dark place where you start questioning your ability as an angler and therefore your worth as a human being. I was at rock bottom and there was only one thing that could get me out of there. Fish on! Monkey Close brood! On. Monkey, monkey brood! brood. Monkey, brood. <laughs> monkey brood! I fished one hour, I tried everything! Second cast ever with monkey root. Hallelujah! On the hot pike. Nice. Yes, sir. Oh, follow her, follow her, follow her. <gasps> Come on, take again, take again. Oh, I lost it right here, but I uh, took the leader touch. So it's, uh, and this is 9-8. The jävla var skönt. My confidence was finally restored and even though Pontus kept catching pike after pike after pike, I reminded myself that fishing is not only about catching the most or biggest fish, it's also about enjoying a great time on the water and trying to learn from your failures. Sometimes you're in the zone and everything is going your way, but honestly, how fun would it be if fishing was always easy? Our day was coming to an end, but the aggressive pike of Åland Islands kept striking like there was no tomorrow. Well, for one of us at least. There we go! Goodbye. Bigger fish. You're not afraid of me anymore. Oh, not so much. Stalker. I think we're talking the last pike of the day here. Look at this beauty. So much fun today. Last fish of the day on a fantastic day here in the Åland Archipelago. Yeah, what was the final score? I think it was 17-10. 17-10 to handmade lure. Yeah, I think the official score between you and me is 22-4. 22-4, that's Which sick. is sick. So yeah, it was really fun to travel back in time for a little bit and yeah, uh, re-explore these old Yeah, I, I think as you also, it doesn't really matter what we threw today, but it was just an awesome challenge to do this. Yeah. It works with factory lures, it works with handmade lures, it works with whatever you believe on. But we can highly recommend you guys to try to, to do some, uh, some lures. Yeah, and it doesn't have to be that fancy. I mean, look no. at this uh, big wooden piece. Take away like, all prestige, just try to make something that you think a fish would eat. It's mostly about the movement, I would say, and not even that is that picky. <laughs> no, exactly. As long as it moves, it works. And as long as you're on Orland Islands, it yeah, works. Yeah, that helps too. <laughs>